word design can be a little funny at times. It could have different interpretations depending on the scenario. When you hear the phrase, that's a great design, would you know exactly what your interlocutor meant by that? It could mean aesthetics, functions, or even both. To give a much deeper meaning to the word design, let's put it this way. Design is about giving meaning to something. It is all about creating an everlasting experience. Design is something more than aesthetics and most certainly it has many notches above the planning function. That is exactly why the concept of design transcends a single discipline. It can be applied to web, mobile, software, fashion, industrial, interior and everything else. In the world where anything could be built, it is a matter of understanding whether it really should be built. That is design. Design is something that elevates the lives and lifestyle of people. Design changes what is into what ought to be. Design is the way to build a better and beautiful world. However, what we need to keep in mind is the fact that everything is designed, but few things are designed well. Design is so simple, and that's what makes it so complicated. today's program, we're going to dive into the world of modern-day pottery and learn more about this ancient art. I never consider me as a potter. I'm a designer. This is my livelihood, making pots. I'm still searching for my entire life I spent to find answer for this question, what is an art? When you do something with a financial intention, when you do something with a financial intention, still I have a problem can we consider it as a piece of art? If you can do something without any financial intentions, that only you can consider as a piece of art. Still I am doing not what I want, what people want, what my customers want. But I have an intention to do art. All my life I did very few pieces I can consider as art pieces. That is my whole idea, thought about art. always uh, has been special to our lives. Mm. There is a way of um, doing things in art. There is a difference between art and in the general way of doing things in life. For an example, um, we make tea but there is an art of making tea. Uh, we talk but there is an art of talking. Uh, we live, but, that, but there's, an, there's an essential art to life, the art of living. So in art, uh, there is um, a structured, systematic way of doing things. It's a process. There is a flow to it, and uh, each component has a certain interconnectedness. I concentrate 
mainly concentrate on the concept not the product I am going to produce or create so after finalize the concept after finalize the form I know how to derive that concept into a functional you'll say functional teapot or functional plate functional pot or whatever when you produce bowls people can say it's very easy making bowl making a bowl is very easy but I can say the making a super bowl the beautiful bowl the perfect bowl is the most difficult product any potter can produce It may seem like a straightforward job, but in fact requires meticulous attention to detail and immense concentration. Let's find out more about this craft after the break. Pottery allows one the freedom of expression and personifies the clay. It breeds life and adds an element to what is otherwise an object without character. My father's approach is, is, is one of very intuitive. Um, when he started this as his craft, he actually uh, never used even one sketch or he never used a pencil or a pen. Like today it was not very academic. He has to find his own way of doing the craft. Not coming from an from a artistic or a craft background. Uh, well, my approach to this was quite different actually. Uh, well, even my father believed that the next generation should be of very academic, coming from a very intellectual um, approach and having a different take to the entire craft aspect in Sri Lanka. So, uh, what I learned from him was uh, the very intuitive approach to the craft. but. Even though he was very intuitive, he had a very clear idea about what should be done before he sat on the potter's wheel. He actually knew uh, the end product of it and the, the specific construction methodology he's going to use, how it's going to look and the aesthetics of it. Everything was in his mind. We have been produced low-fired terracotta cooking pots. The problem is you can use that only for that purpose, only for cooking. That means there's no future for that product. My intention is to change, to convert this low-fired terracotta cooking pots into more practical, beautiful, durable, product. If you take the definition of pottery actually, pottery is the art of making pots. So I want to take pottery beyond its uh, general definition where we make pots. Actually studio ceramics is not about making pots or pottery is pottery in that sense it is really hard to relate it to um, uh, the general life that we live in uh, if you take it in the sense of an art 
Pottery is popularly known as an uh, epiphenomenal craft. Um, that means it has a, a relationship uh, with the mind, uh, with the creator's mind. Like every hand movement is completely related to, to the mind. So in that sense, there is a very uh, integral relationship between uh, the creator's creativity and the creation. So my creativity, I mean, uh, in every creation, I try to uh, portray my positioning, uh, my positioning of the mind in relationship to the nature, in relationship to the universe. So if you take um, each creation of mine, uh, I try to portray the infinite quality of the universe. I produce without a frame. Some people say you have Japanese influence, some people say you have English, you have American, you have African, maybe. Influenced by all over the world. No teacher, no school. I think that is the beauty you see in my products. Unlimited shapes, unlimited concepts, unlimited forms. I'm not very much concerned about the functional value. There were no any studio ceramics workshop in Sri Lanka. I'm very proud to say I am the first studio potter who started Studio Ceramics Workshop in Sri Lanka. But after I introduced this product, Studio Ceramics, into Sri Lankan market, I'm very happy to say we got a very good response from the market. In Sri Lanka, this is not very good country for Studio Ceramics or production pottery. Not like other countries, if you say about the UK or Japan or China, you have everything uh, around. Here we don't have raw material processing plant. We have some uh, kind of raw materials. But when you do ceramics, you can't use clay as it is. You have to process. You need processing plant. You don't have clay processing plant here. The art of pottery teaches one a lot more than just how to mold and sculpt. The virtues of patience, determination, perseverance, and a lot more get instilled in a potter as well. Let's find out more about this craft after the break. What fascinates me is the, the basic shape, the basic cylinder or the basic clay ball. I try to work with the circles and curves. I try to work with 
uh, a perfectly wedged clay ball. Uh, those are the most um, basic but most important fundamentals in the craft uh, because those are the ones that we have actually forgotten. If you, um, even in my workshop, even, even in my factory, I always see that, you know, when you become very commercial, when you become very consumer based, when you are uh, when you're producing utilitarian products, you actually forget the basics of it. We have, we have gone so far, we have, we have forgotten the basic techniques, the basic, um, uh, the, the fundamentals actually. So I try not to go beyond uh, the basics, I try to master the basics and within the basic, I try to create an aspect of studio ceramics where I could relate to the, to the daily life of people. If you want to redo something or if you want to reproduce something, just follow internet or whatever, books and everything. My, my advice is don't follow internet. Don't follow internet. Just try to create your own. Believe your capacity. Trust your capacity. Do not expect any comments on outsiders. Nobody can create, nobody can criticize your product. It's your own, it's your own unique product. That's my style. I do art for myself not for others. I'm not expecting any com good comments on my products from outsiders. The system kill all creative ability of new generation. So my advice, if you want to do art, before start that, try to do something for day-to-day -day living. For Try to do something for bread and butter, just for rice and curry. You need healthy economy to do art. So I spent more than 30, 40 years to build healthy economy for my family. So I think now I am in a position to do art. of this craftsmanship gives room for inspiration. 
as it is not the opinion of outsiders, but one's own efforts that count.